How you feeling, Sangre? I'm are you, doing do, pretty good. Got, uh, this is gonna be big. This is, got, these two guys are like really good. I know. I'm so excited Marco to see Stiles this. Marco Stal is like the all-time one v one go, and then Smutuba is like the current goat. So yeah, I. It's kind of like we're watching, you know, two of the old guard, old guard, but one of them was just out of it for so long. I wonder how he's gonna fare. I think uh, I don't think uh, Marco Stal is rusty at all. I think he's uh, really good. Yeah. But when players are that good, they they always prepare and uh, and he's been playing a lot in smart accounts and he played a, a lot against good players on PC. That is now, also true. Said that I can't beat a Bruno Sanders on Blood Gold. I can't. It, it's so difficult because that that just that early money they've got so many options. They can just push with brutes, locust. Uh, there's there's so many things the brute can do on this map. But Marco is going to, it looks like that was a temple second. No, that's a temple no, that's first. The, okay. Oh, for, temple first from tubes. Or, oh, wait, we're watching Marco, right? Yeah, yeah, we're watching Marco. So he's going to try to deny that brute. But it looks like he's just, uh, he's going to use that. his chopper there to block. Switch streams. Okay, I'm watching. Did Marco start go barracks first or barracks second? He, he went barracks second. Barracks okay. second, so he's got some marines up, and that that other brute is probably through the teleporter by now, and it's it's in I that. Tested, uh, I tested this out. It's better to go barracks first. You think so? Uh, if you're gonna grab your own hook, yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that as uh as Anders because she has the the weaker eco than like Forge. Ooh, reactor fourth. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's got good. Did he building get the placement. ram on the on the on the flame or not the flamethrower the the sniper? I don't think he did. He's going to now. It looks like. Okay. Okay. He's gonna take that. His building placement is good. And it looks like he's been gonna be going into gunner here. And did I see a factory over there on Smooth Tube's base? Yeah, he's he's got a factory. I think he's gonna hit him with the locust uh brute rush. Yep. That's so um, strong. Or he could just go raids, honestly. It's just ridiculous. So he yep. got the he got the reactor, so he does. Yep. Yeah, I wonder how Marco's gonna play this here. He's got some hogs out, but I don't know if he has an answer really to two locusts at this point just because all these units are so weak just the vortex and on top of stacking some brutes up we'll see what uh what he can do he's gonna go for the hook no he's not oh he is he's gonna pelican over there okay he's gonna take that brutes okay, coming that's up actually, that's actually that's actually really good bro like three i don't know if he'll win but maybe the barracks was on the other side mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah, because there's no Spartans right now. But he's going to take the hook, so if he, like, doesn't die... He'll have a lot more cash. And that's one of the reasons how... I usually try to cue my barracks away from the barracks, uh, or away from the reactor. Away from the reactor this. side. Mm -hmm. He did get a Spartan out, though. That's huge. That is really good. He might uh he might go for like a cryo bomb and, and try to you know try to take one of these over. Yeah, he needs to. This is what to... I'm talking about. How are, how are you supposed to respond against this? Right. Wow. Yeah. Like very very tough. He could have kept his barracks up for a few more seconds if he had it on the other side. Mm -hmm. but like this. Even then though, like right. look at this. Yeah, his eco. I mean, he's got both hooks, but he's got no pads. He's got no no infrastructure. He's gonna cryo bomb. Yep. Looks like he's just going See, for the, the time, base. Half the yep. time when I freeze, I freeze my own my own Spartan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, you know I mean? that does sound like something I do too. Yeah, I, I feel like what Marco has to do right here, and it's it's uh, Ready. it, it doesn't work most of the time if the brute counters, counters are right. He's supposed to push with two warhogs. Deny so the factory. He, he's got to get the kill on that first brute. Ready. 
Okay. Okay. That first brute, he has to, has to die. If the first brute gets through, he, he just gets that money so quick. That's very Which true. Which is, I think, the reason he's going barracks sec, uh, barrack second, because if you do that, well, you don't have the money to... If you go barracks first, then you kind of, like, are forced to pick up money with the right. Warhawks. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you go barracks second, you 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 got a little... A little more wiggle room. More. Yeah. I think he's going to try to. He hasn't locked that down, but we've only just got, got the one hog over there. It's kind of getting chased away. So he's got the brute through, but... Oh, no, he didn't. He he's, didn't get the brute through. He walked it away. I, he might have... I don't know if that was intentional or what, but he's... Well, it's definitely intentional. It's just... Uh, I wonder why he did that, though. That's odd, yeah. wonder why... So he's, he's using the second brute to send through. And it looks like he's good. Yeah. He's going for a greedy play, then. I don't know if he was just afraid that the two warhogs were going to show up or what. Hmm. Local units. Warehouse upgraded. Local units. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to play out. That, uh, you know, delaying the, the chieftain only gives the, the Anders more time to prepare. Local units. Yeah. Local units. I was playing against Arrogance, and he, he that's what he did. But he, he was cutter, so he had a little... He had an elephant, I think. And he, he sent two Warhawks up, and he he killed my first brute. And that really set me back. Yeah. But if I would, what I should have did was like play a little bit more defense with my chopper and wait for my second brute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kind of uh, I had that experience on um on my Blood Gulch or no, it was Blood River with uh, Orca. I tried to ram him, but he just kind of waited me out. Uh, let's see if um, it looks like Tubes is going to do the exact same Local thing. Over here. Yeah. Uh, so Local let's see if, uh, if Marco Stahl queued the barracks on the other on the opposite side. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, hopefully he's prepared for it this time. I did test that out though, going uh, barracks Local first units. and barracks second, and I thought barracks second was better. Local uh, I was under that impression. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh! You see the three flamethrowers? Yep. Yep. That's nasty. That is. He's gonna be on uh, no hooks. I came to the conclusion that barracks first is better. Mm. But um, against UNSC, against Brew, I mean, I could see Local units. that. That actually, Local this is units. What? really good from Marco. Yeah, it is. He's got he's got that brute kind of off in the corner there, but he is getting the the locust through, and it's got really good range. And just like you said, look at that. He put that barracks on the other side. Yep. 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 Oh, 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 he's getting that. He's there. Yeah, he's getting that. Yep. That's going to... Oh, his own brute got in the way. Oh, that might be game. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. See, Marco style? The king. Okay, he's good. Um. Yeah, Tube's kind of... He, yeah, he kind of fell apart there a little bit. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, you gotta remember, remember, he doesn't have his hook. That's true. He's, That's right. He's all in right now. Yep. He's out of the reactor now, too. Now, Marco Stout did use a D bomb, which is not very good for him. I mean, mm -hmm. but... Brute does have a decent amount of should, health too. I don't know if he should have used that D bomb to be honest. To secure but, that locust. But I mean, he's got, he's had both hooks. It doesn't matter. He can just spam units. Right now, build yep. turrets, whatever he needs. Like the pressure is on tubes, not Marco this game. Uh, yes, exactly. He's really just got to watch out for those Spartans. And Marco just could use that Locust to just snipe some of these Brutes. And the Chieftain really can't do anything because he's got to walk all the way over there. Is he going to kill that Spartan? Did he get he inheritance did. on that? He did. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice, nice catch there. He doesn't want a vortex. Yeah. Maybe he's just saving up his money. Yeah, he's saving up for more wraiths. That's nice. He's about to die. Yep. He's bruised dead. This is over. Yep. He's got no hooks. Marco's got both of them. Local units. 
Well, maybe it's not over, but I mean, it's not looking good for. Yep. Yep. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yep. Wow, that was a that was a great game. Immediately, just like, okay, you're gonna do this again. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna improvise and adjust my strategy. I think Tubes. I mean, he messed around. Like he, didn't, I don't know. Like he could have got that brute through, and he could have vortex those two flamethrowers if he'd have just came back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He, he did delay greedy, it. In my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I can't say nothing though. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I see. <laughs> but it it is what it is though. No, I, I see we'll what you what mean. Happens. Like, cause he delayed that brute going through the border, and and then and yeah, like he picked up the crates, which was about ninety resources, but that was time out of the hook. All right, so we got Anders versus Brute. I think um, Anders should go reactor second. Brute mm -hmm. should go temple first. Mm -hmm. Gonna see here if maybe he gets the ram off on one of these hogs. Makes it a little, e little easier for him. There it is. Are you watching Marco Stall again? Ye oh, am I? Whoops. I'm watching uh, Marco oh. Stall. You're watching Marco? Okay, I'm also watching Marco. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. He is gonna get a little damage. That's always nice. He put his temple on the on the side. That's actually very curious because a lot of us players that play a lot of three v threes, we 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 all learned that your temple should always be in the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is not a normal scenario, like a three v three scenario. Maybe the temple to the side is. I, I think what he's doing is if the hog harassment gets too too bad, he's going to um, put his his supply pads that are coming up in that kind of corner there. And if he gets a turret up there, it'll be easier to defend those those uh, other pads that are coming up. But we'll have to see if he even goes if he even goes into it. Uh, he needs at least uh, at least two brutes to to do a lot of damage. And, you know, he's got him. Yep. There's no, uh, dude should be pushing up right now. Yeah. No, he no harassment. Fast. He, he must have won reactor third or something. Mm -hmm. No, that's reactor second. Uh, this is, this is bad for, for yeah. Tubes. Yeah. He's going to get that pad uh, up over there, but he's going to lose this one. And then this other one's going to get denied. You cannot play defense on a brute and, and, and brutes is, it's impossible. Yeah. It's, uh, the only way to deal with this is to counter push with four warhogs and try to pour block the second and third brute. You yep. can't get the first one, but the second and third one. Yes. Yep. So. So I, I'm not sure. He might have to uh, just try to take these brutes out and you know, debomb them. Now, Tuz is really good at like <laughs> not getting his warhogs board yeah. like this. Yeah. I play against him a lot, and he is really good at that. And, yeah, uh, look at that. Wow, that's great. Marco's kind of got like his... If that would have been me, I would have just lost every Warhog. <laughs> right. What? Oh, he's got oh a my barracks. God, he has a barracks? He wow. Has a barracks? This is crazy. That is, yeah. Oh, my God. I did not expect that. This. That looked like a pad, didn't I'm, it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go back and watch this from Two's point of view. Yeah. Didn't that, that insane. didn't that look now, like a pad coming up over there? I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was a pad. But 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 saying having said that, uh, Tubes is broke. Yeah, he's on three pads. I don't even I don't even know if he has an upgraded pad. And like Marco style has got a heavy and mm -hmm. four pad. So that's true. I think I think all Marco has to do right here is mess up, walk around a little bit, and like going straight into rates and. Not yeah. he's got this. Or maybe upgraded Vortex, or we'll see, because he, he definitely can't leave his base right now. Um, Maybe, like, one Brute, or I'm not, he's got sorry, one not one Brute. Pad. One or two Hogs to start shooting at some of these pads, but we'll see what he does. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Oh, yep. yeah. So, I don't have to recall. Yeah, Marco didn't go turrets, and... Let's see. Let's see how he handles this there. He's got that chopper, though. That's going to... Oh, maybe he can get a kill on that. He's going to push? I would have recalled, but I mean... <laughs> yeah. Maybe, like, these guys are both better than me, so I really shouldn't, like... 
insane. Great Assassin insane. too hard. Right. <clears throat> Four so my, heavy pets. He went for he the yeah. fat eco. He did go for a fat eco. He went for a thick and... He might have to force him to build some turrets here. Because this brute's just too slow. Really good hog micro. Yeah, he's just he's he's watching every hog. He, he's not gonna let him let he's him gonna get, get anything. Turret up though. Yep. Uh, I think if he'd have built that turret a little bit sooner, he'd have been in a better spot. Did he yep. blow up his reactor? I think he blew up his reactor to put more uh, flamethrowers. You know, I didn't see. He he might have. Um, I looked at his base for there for a second. He went back to his base. It looked like the reactor was a little, like on fire or something. Yeah, like it's just it, it just looks different. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's really exploiting the weakness of the of the brute right here. It's just he, he can't he can't be everywhere he at once. Lost a heavy. Yeah, lost a heavy. Had to build a turret. But he lost three warhogs there. Yeah, he might lose this one get that too. Last pad. If he gets that last pad, this is gonna be bad for yeah for brute. It's gonna be close. I mean, even if he doesn't get it here, he can just come back later. You know. Look at that. He Boom. Got it. Nice. See see that reactor? It is there gone. Go. What do you he think he put the... there? He uh, most likely he went um he upgraded his flamethrowers and he's just gonna go warhogs and flamethrowers and go for the middle. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a good but idea. He, I mean, you can't take that taking that middle is hard. The, 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 those marines in the middle uh, they're not to be messed with no sorry so. especially that sniper <laughs> they will send you to pound town there's the there's the flamers chieftain doesn't have a, any upgrades yet but we do have some we have some uh, rates coming out Gonna go single factory. I think that's what he needs. Yeah. And he is gonna get that hook. Well, it's hard. Like even mm -hmm. you, you need like ten marines or ten uh, flamethrowers. With with flashbang. Yeah. Yeah, that is yeah, a lot. Yeah, definitely with flashbang. If Marco kind of waits on the outskirts, and if he gets it, if he comes in at the right time, might be able to, oh, he already has it. Wow. Got it. He didn't kill anything, though. He missed. I don't know if... I'm not sure... Uh, not sure if he just misclicked or, or what. So... Um... Yeah, this is a really once, bad spot. Once he gets a few more rates, though. Oh, he's coming in. Mm -hmm. He's got two rates so far. Yeah, the factory's going to go down. It's going to cost like, him some time. kind of like all in, though, you know? Like, yeah. If, if, two, if Marco just gets a few more rates. I don't know who's winning. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to take that turret, though, before it before uh, it recharges. It back. I, I can't remember how long it is. I think it's like 30 or 40 seconds, I'll say. Gonna go for Tsunami. That vortex. Yep. Got a lot of flamers. Yeah. He's he's not... He's, he, you're right. He's gonna... He's, if, if, he's yeah. gonna get... He's gonna get turreted again. Yeah. And he's gonna go for his pads this time. But he's still on a barrack, so if he snowballs with these wraiths, maybe he can... I'm not sure. Maybe he can just uh, eat away at those infantry. Uh, he, sh he shows yeah. up the shield there. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He, he, yeah, he like just look that. at that. Yep, just like you said. He might have just have to sacrifice yeah, that he eco. Should, he should have done just, it like just just for. Right. I wouldn't have done it. Though. I mean, it's not that I would have, but like you know, hindsight. You know, mm -hmm. it's nice whenever you can like criticize somebody after they didn't do something. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm surprised. I, like I'd be long dead at this point. <laughs> Yeah, he, he had a really strong start, Marco did. And, and it's, it's kind of slipping kill. away. Yeah. Still, uh, takes one minute, I believe, for that turret to come back. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it takes 30 seconds for the shield to recharge. From, uh, from being struck. And it takes the turret also like a few seconds to actually shoot. So. To turn, right, right. Oh, he's going to deny it, though. Yeah, of course he's going to yep. deny it. This is bad for Marco. Yep. His eco is pretty rough. Yeah, these, these hogs aren't... They're just to deny the shield. He's got what four rates now. I wonder if uh, Green has upgraded his base at all. That's a that's a good question. Interesting choice. That okay. He didn't get the V. He didn't get the. I think that's that's good again. for Marco. You know, the yeah, longer he gets that. Best. That was not the best. He probably should have went for that temple. Yeah. I would have probably done the pads. I don't know if that would be the play here, but I just feel like those are weaker. Those would probably go down to that uh, that mega turret. Yeah. Oh, and the shoot's hey, up. Oh, oh. Nice. They shoot on the other foot now. Yep. They shoot. I think. <laughs> I think. Um, Yep, he's gonna take this if back. If Juicy switch into tanks or or anything, he doesn't have anything right now. So. Yep. Oh my God! Look at this. What a what a crazy game. Come Ooh, on, Wraith. Three Ooh. should that three should be he enough. Get it, but he can, unless he's, he's upgraded. Oh no! Oh, he's got no, chain he gun. Kill it. He cannot kill it. Oh, he's gonna get another one, and he's gonna get he's another gonna one. He's gonna get it. Oh, I hope and he doesn't he shoot those. Turret. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Dang it. That was crazy. Yeah, I saw somebody say in the chat, I think it was Rupe, but it was like, I think he said that it was a tragedy that Smooth changed his game language to English, because he used to have all the units speaking in Japanese. Local unit. <laughs> yeah, he did. Reactor third. First UNSC mirror, so Local unit. Let's see who's got the hog micro. They both have great hog micro, though. Yeah. Only thing I'm a little bit worried here is uh, reactor third is risky. Yep. Um, if he if um, Marco goes reactor second, we'd catch him off guard. Yeah. I ha I have a theory. It's like uh, reactor second is better if you know your opponent is better it is, is going reactor third. If you know he's going reactor third, yeah, reactor second is better. But if if both of you are going reactor second and you push up. You're giving him the advantage, so it's like a it's like a mind game, right? Just trying to trying to bait out which you know which one. If I knew go. he was going reactor third for sure, I would just go second and try and find him at the crates because mm -hmm. you know he's pushing right now. Smooth is pushing right now. He's gonna lose a hog. Yeah, that's really big. Yep. Especially in these he lost games. Two warhogs. He lost two warhogs. Two. Uh oh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah it's did. it's gone. Yes, I, I yeah, I don't see it on the map. That's huge. And these in these level of games like that though. <laughs> <laughs> Teams deserve it. I mean, he's pushing his warhogs on the other side. You're honestly that's, probably right. Like, that's a little bit disrespectful, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and risky. And he yeah, he paid for it. We'll see if uh, Marco Style is gonna punish him for it. Nah, I don't know if Marco saw also win reactor third. I think he did. 
but uh, Smooth is uh, definitely cannot push right now. Nope, not at all. He's going to lock his base down, too. He does not want to lose anymore. I think what Marco Style is going to do is he's going to, like, pick up all the crates. He knows he has more Warhogs. Yep. He's going to upgrade all his pads. He's going to heal up. And Marco Style is going to know. Marco Style mm -hmm. is going to know Smooth to clear the base. He's, he'll check the points. Yep. And even if he clears this, Marco could just take it and be like, okay, thank you. You know? And just taking himself, and now he's on a double pump of gremlins. If he goes yeah. tech two, um, I'm gonna expect. I'm gonna say he's gonna go gren. That's that's my prediction. Okay. Yeah, gren, gren is good. <clears throat> but if he can, if Smooth can get this base up and hold it, well, then yeah, maybe we'll be on a more even footing because I don't think Marco cleared his out yet. Yep, there he is. Oh, but he's got there he's he got is. Even yeah. numbers. Five to, five five to six. One oh, there's another one. Yep. Can Whenever I'm Anders against another Anders, I like to upgrade my base, then queue a pad. And then queue a reactor last and get Grenadier off of that. And just give me a little extra money. Off of the final a final slot on your base? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I can just I can just keep building Warhogs the whole time. Yep. And be, go really heavy. See now that base is cleared and Mar Marco can take that. Marco can take that. I I'd be surprised if he hadn't. And if he just throws up a second reactor and just starts pumping out some gremlins. Yep. I think I think he should have just left right there and got grenadier and then came back with a, after a heal on grenadier. Mm. He's getting pretty close, yeah. He's pushing it. <laughs> yeah, two black bar hogs. Wonder if he has that. I wonder if he bought that base. That's a good question. You know, he's he's defending from that way. He's not moving all around, so he kind of is putting a wall up between him and that base. Tubes doesn't know if he did or not. That's I mean, true. that doesn't really matter, I guess, because there's nothing he can do about it if he did. Right. But if he didn't, if he took that base, he that may actually be worse for him. Cause he... What do you think? Work, worse for Marco or worse for Tubes? Worse for Marco. Because mm. it's going to delay his tech 2 a little bit. That's also true. But it's just, it's, I think he did take it. Yep. We'll see. He, he yep, he did. And... He did. I heard the uh, the flag uh, rejection noise. So, Tuz just needs to get his first tank out and get gremlins and turtle up right now. Yep, yep. He's not necessarily behind, but it's definitely not looking good for him. That's true. He just, he just clicked. He's not... Marco's not on a fortress. He's on a station. So, like you were saying earlier, I, I don't if know he if he has. First on his on his expo. I mean, he should probably he could probably get away with it. Yeah, if he did, and he gets away with it. But at the same time, it's really awkward to mm -hmm. push on an Anders because if if Smooth Tube takes that base right beside him, and Marco still has the base opposite, then Tube is gonna get that money. Yep. There's a lot of crates to be taken from those from those Ooh. rebels. I get a scout through. We got gremlins. Gremlins and a so right depot. Now, right now, Marco Stahl has better eco than smoother tube. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he went fortress on his main base yet. Smooth tube can't push. Smooth tube needs to turtle up. And even then, he might still not be in a good spot. Yeah. Because he's on, he's on a single pump of Grems right now. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, when, once he clears his base, and he gets that money, like, Marco Stahl is not going to get that money. Mm -hmm. On his side, I mean, or he might, but... It's a little bit, bit more awkward for him. Yeah. He, he went station. Uh-huh. Oh, yep. <laughs> I 
Wow. It's like, yeah, man, I'm little tiny differences in the, in the beginning leads to all this. Exactly. Yeah. Like if if you're watching and you're thinking that, oh, how how big a deal can two warthogs really be? Like this is this is it. It's the difference between you holding on to that that extra base or not. Now, I remember one time I was in a similar situation that Tubes is right now. I was playing against Tanky, and he just went straight to take three gremlins. He he got, he's going to push. He feels, he feels that he needs mm -hmm. to push because he thinks he's getting his reactor up right now. Think he's going for so chain went, He went straight gremlins. No, not chain name, just take three gremlins. And, okay. uh, and he destroyed me. Oh, you're talking about Tanky. Tanky, you know Tanky, right? Yeah, yeah, the German player. Yeah, yeah this was a long time ago, but yeah. Okay, he didn't go reactor, so Marco Stahl should be, should be able to hold this. Yeah. He's he's got line of sight on his his vehicles. He's keeping his gremlins out of the way, um, and he's still pumping them out. He's going cryo. Ooh, big cryo. Yep. That's nice. Huge. I wonder if he's going to counter cryo. He's got a he lot will. of units in that. He will, but Tubes is trying to like drive up to him so he doesn't get a good cryo. Yep. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Some of the tanks are still unfrozen. Oh, this is close. It's hard to tell. I think Marco might have it. Yeah, the Gremlin didn't stun anything. But I don't think Marco has any gremlins right now. He's locking his base, yeah. That tank's gonna die. I don't think Marco has a depot on his main. I think this is his only depot. Yeah. He, he's got. He's gonna get gremlins out though. He's gonna yeah. get gremlins out. Um. I don't know. Ooh, is he gonna get that kill? I he's definitely close. Oh, oh he's, he's not. Marco style is messing up. He's gonna get the. He's gonna get the stun. That was bad. That's yep. terrible. That's two tanks. Yep. Yeah. That, that's that's. Yeah. Really wow. Look at that. All units. Yeah. This All man is cracked. Is... Yeah. I mean, he needed to do that though. Mm-hmm. I, I I I thought like station was a little bit. You know, if that would have been me, if I was gonna, if I was doing. But my, uh, like I said, what I personally would have done, I would have went Grenadier because I knew I had more Warhogs. Yeah. And then push up, do like a Grenadier push just to try and like do a little bit of damage. Right. Deny the fortress. Not saying it would have worked. Yeah. <laughs> Not saying it would have worked because uh, plenty of times I tried it and I'm like, <laughs> they make me look bad. But You know, like on paper, you, you would think they would. that's the way to go. But it's just, yeah, that's, it was a cr crazy turn of events, man. Unlock the base. Not good for Marco. Yeah. He's going to pull like those gremlins out. Tanks. He, mm -hmm. he lost three tanks. These tanks are stunned here. He's just going to whittle down the gremlin numbers. All right. Ooh, okay. So that oh, wow. Cool. Tubes. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, we're at three one now. He made, a, he, he made a comeback there. People say Anders is better than Forge. Mm -hmm. But I struggled more against Forge as Anders than anybody else. Especially on this map too. It's just so close. The the brute I struggle more against the brute on, on this map and on Blood Gulch and on Blood River. Mm -hmm. I struggle. I struggle against the brute on those maps so much that I don't even play Anders anymore on those maps. I yeah. gave up on Anders in those maps. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even but... worth it. Oh, I'm also I'm watching Marco's stream. Just FYI. Okay, okay. Let me go switch back. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Marco told me he loves to take these crates in particular because it gives you so much information. You can 
grab that crate and you can see exactly what kind of build they're going up for, but Smooth's not going to let them take that for free. Let's see if I can turn this volume up a little bit. You can hear more Marcos stream. I think Smoothitube needs to try to kill a Warhog before Gunner. Yeah, that'd be huge. He's going to go react for third. Um, Marco style. Yeah, that forge is... Forge can really, really not do a, a reactor second that well. No, he cannot. I mean, I played against Forge on... Against, I don't know if you know, Snizzy. Snizzy? And mm -hmm. I, I came to the conclusion that... Uh, as Sanders against the Forge, you need to go reactor uh, third. And because they're going to try to go reactor uh, fourth. Like that's the, the forge. Yeah, like mm -hmm. if they can get away with reactor fourth, that's really good for them. Yeah. So you need to go reactor third and push up to their base and deny their last path for as long as you can. And and you can like catch up in eco. And if you're yep. lucky, you might kill a couple of warhogs. Yeah, I I think I think you're right. I think the Anders is gonna have that early game uh presence, but oh he, he built yeah, he did build a turret. Well, that's a good thing. He won reactor for third then. Yeah. If he okay. Won reactor second and, and did that. That's probably the piece we were missing then, because he saw because he went over there and he saw that turret. I f I forgot about that. He saw that turret and then he was like, okay, well I can't really do as much damage as I wanted to, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the eco game. Okay. Eric's coming up. He's almost got his pads uh, fully upgraded. Yeah. Now the tubes only have one turret. I think he only had a front turret. Yeah, it looked like it, and it it looked like he changed Ooh, positions. Of that's bad for yep. tube. The, oh, he got Gunner there, but still, still, he he took a bad trade. Yeah, he he had. Um, he didn't get the first now, shot off. Now, having said that, that was a reactor fourth. Mm. So he's rolling in money right now. Yep. If and he would have taken a better fight there, that wouldn't be really good for him. I wonder if uh, if Smooth Tube just had the uh, Marines. He ran them into the barrack, whereas Marco's clearing them with the Hogs. I'm I'm curious if that's what he did. Uh, I'm sure he he's getting his hook right right now. He he needs three flamethrowers or three marines. Yep. Two if you want to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Take that extra money, extra money and run. <clears throat> yeah, you know how many times? I'll, oh, wait, did he have it there? Yeah, he does. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many times I've lost games because I've cut cut out the third marine. <laughs> it's like okay, I'll just build two, and then I'll push up with my warhogs, and then they and then, die. Yeah, it's it's too much, or or you lose so it fast. Yeah, it's just. I mean, yeah. Now I'm wondering what Tubes is gonna do here. I assume he's gonna canny down tech. Yeah, that's the strongest play right now. He probably has... Mm, he lost another Warhog. Yeah, I think he's... I, I, assume... I, I think he's just given up on those Hogs. He's probably going to just the go Marines? for tanks. Oh. That's... I mean, he has... He still has some Warhogs, but... Yeah. Interesting. Maybe he's going to send those Marines over to Marco's Hook. Oh, he went Spartan. That's bad. If he kills that right now. That's an expensive Spartan, but these hogs are kind of red bar. It's protecting it with the Marines. But now having said that too, uh, Marco's already getting his depot up. Yep. It looked Marco's like he... Thought... Yeah, Marco's a little faster on the tanks, even though he's Anders. Yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. He spent that's that money on the really 
That's that's crazy. Uh, I really, I mean, every time I play against the Forge, it's the other way around. I'm they're right. getting their depot out, then I'm just getting my re vector reactor out. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what happened there. I don't know. Yeah, he went through the turrets. He's got he's got more marines, and I'm curious what he's going to use those marines for. Um, There's you know, I think he can use them for right now. Yeah. I have seen them use them for use them against uh, against gremlins like RPG, but I don't know if that's. I'm not sure. <clears throat> He's got go double stock tank. Okay. The two is. Got some Spartans too. I. I He's going to stun this first tank. He can stun it, but what's he going to do? Like, it's... I mean... Can't really do anything with that stun. He Maybe really just wants try that to... tower. Yeah, that is good vision. Oh my god, Marco still has so much. Yeah. This is not good for smooth tube. It's got a lot of gremlins. He's trying to jack. It's usually we see that Anders building the uh building the Spartans. This is bad. This is, dude, I think Marcus Tolge was one. Yeah. He threw it in there, okay. But yeah, if he just saves up for a cryo too, that's a huge blow. Yeah, it's uh, a fourth tank though. You gotta remember, Smitube is only on three pads, and the yep. hook. Or is Marco still on four? Oh no, he's also on three. He he didn't. I don't think he killed a tank there. He just kind of let him go. Yeah. So he's gonna heal that up. I, th I think that's safe though. I think that, I think that's good because mm -hmm. like he'll get canny and tubes. There's no way he's getting canny. This is a good catch there. But smooth tubes gonna send that one to the back. Ooh, he double stung one tank. That's bad. He's yeah. Repeating. He's like, oh, that would be enemy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those stock tanks. Like tubes. Tubes knows. Tubes knows he's he blew up his barracks and he's probably getting a reactor. So Tubes has the one that has to go push right now. Mm hmm I don't know that he can though. That's yeah, that's a good question. I mean we've got three gremlins uh, out and he's got vision there. So they're, they're definitely not coming through the middle. Maybe he went for canny. Oh no, he 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 Tubes went for canny too. Good. He blew I, up his depot. I think that in this situation, I think Smooth Tube might have a little bit of an edge because he's got a few more tanks. So he's going to have a few more cannies. And once you get to canny, I mean, Marco's only got three gremlins. And if he gets those, like, at least two of them out of the way, this is where the Forge yeah, can well, uh, snowball. I think the way he wins this is um, he just waits. Yeah. Uh, but he's pushing, so. No canny yet. I mean, nope. but he does have the side on him, and he is going to get canny faster, so. Uh, if two spots canny right here, that's going to be really bad for Marco. Yeah. But he did it. I don't see it so. yet. wonder what he's up to. Found out that the best thing that Anders can do in this scenario is just get full pop and... Never push. <laughs> yeah, don't don't lose anything, right? Still but took canister shell. aggressive though. Yeah, he's gonna just come back in and try to take tank out with one of these uh, canister shells. Ooh, cobra! What? Oh wow! He probably just built one. I assume he probably just built one, but he wasted that part of that heal too. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, I think I think you're right that it's just gonna help uh help him hold this down a little more. But Marco's on full pop now. Yeah. 
Got about four gremlins. Um, he, he hasn't got canny, so yeah. maybe he is going straight cobras. Now, I've lost to straight cobras before. Yeah. Plenty of times on this map. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. If I it's think... a different map, I got them to go um, marines or whatever I need to do. But mm -hmm. on this map. Interesting. Still no, still no canny. So, Why is he going straight Cobra? That's crazy. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. Nice. He's kind of pushing he's around the try, side. He's trying to do a base trade. Okay, okay. Well, if he's got Cobras parked out in front, well, I mean, if he can Gremlin them, then that's not terrible. Well, we'll see how many... Well, he got a... There's a Cobra. Mm-hmm. The free unit right there. That's really bad. That's really good for Marco, really yeah. bad for Tubes. Yep. But now Marco's not at his base. Is he gonna come home here? Back. Yeah, he's gonna come back and he's gonna play defense on this. Ooh. Uh, he's really far away right now. now. Smutu, well, I, assume, I don't know if Smutu is actually, he just built one Cobra or he built multiple. I think he only built one. So, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. there's the cryo. Both players cry. Oh, no, he carpeted. Yeah, yeah that's right. He's forged. Is, he's got four tanks. Okay, this is over. Oh, yeah, that's rough. I like that push, though. I thought it was a, a good idea, but might have overstayed his welcome. Yeah, he... He needed to protect that Cobra, and Marco still got that Cobra. Yeah. Anders Mirror. All right, I'm going to guess before I get it wrong. Let's see if I mm -hmm. get it right. They're going to go barracks first and go straight for the hook. Yep. <laughs> I, th I think that's what I would do. And uh, Marco has told me that you really only go uh, pad first if you're forge on this map. Because that heavy pad is about the same as it would be, you know, if you had the hook. So it makes sense to go barracks first. Nah, I used to, the last 1v1 Orca tournament, I tried to go reactor second and stop the Marine from coming through. And I failed miserably. Oh, what was the so, matchup? That's when I realized, you, can't, you gotta go barracks first. Yeah. <laughs> it, was Anders, it was an Anders Mirror. Oh, Anders Mirror, okay. Now, I do think Smutu has. Well, maybe not. Marco still has been playing a lot, but Smutu has a lot of experience on this map, too. Yeah. I play against Bad Run Wars, and uh, he was playing Brute on this map, and I can't beat him. Who is Bad Run Wars? Is that a. Is that a Smurf? Uh. No, Bad Run Wars, uh, I mean. Well, I forget Just what bad his, run wars. Attack was, but he he's been around for a while. He's a brute player. Oh, okay. Marco still is pushing up the warhawks, trying to ram the marines. Mm -hmm. Trying to slow him down. Wonder if he went reactor first. Like this is ridiculous, but if yeah. he went reactor first, he can actually stop him. That'd be pretty crazy. Um, and we still got some marines going through. It's not looking good for for yellow. Either. Yeah, he's losing hogs. I think he did go. He, he's putting so much into it. Oh, wow. Yep. He went for wow. the cheese. He went reactor second. Yep. <laughs> he lo he oh, lost wow. them all. All right. Well, big cheese place. That. Mr. That's Pig would be proud. So, so sitting at 4-2 right now, we're going back to Chasms. And this is uh, this is match I point. See, I want to see how uh, some of the two bets just. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If Marco doesn't take this one, this is it. That's the that's the last one. Let me turn off the gotta turn the sound up here. So we're watching Marco stall, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. The trade rams there. YX the Warhog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been practicing that. He's going Barrack second. I don't know about that. Yeah. 
Risky. Uh, if Tube sees it, he can just go barracks himself and he'll be ahead. And I think he did see it. Yeah, he did. He, he little, did a little drive-by. I think Tubes just goes barracks himself and he'll have them hanging yeah. pads. If I'm right. Yep. Let's <laughs> let's see. He's gonna try to match the Forge's eco by getting that hook a little bit earlier. The longer uh, Marco has to set up, it's just better for the Anders overall. All that tech. Yeah, it'll be. He'll, Marco still have the hook a little bit sooner. I don't know if it's enough, though, to compensate for two heavy pads. Of the yeah. Course, though. He's, got, he's got a few weak hogs. I don't know... Uh... Not sure if those will make it too much longer. We've got the hook, though. Yeah, he has the hook. Mm -hmm. And he's going to get this he's money here. And he's going reactor, so he'll get gunner. Mm -hmm. And he may actually deny the smooth dude from getting the hook. Uh, this is crazy. Yeah. Never thought I'd see it. Huh. <laughs> Never thought of this. <laughs> you should have... Definitely Gunner before Smooth Tube. Mm hmm. Smooth Tube is just now heading to the reactor, so let's see what happens. He got some flamers. I think he's gonna cause some damage here. Oh, that sucks. He just needs to ram the Marine. Yep, that's the big problem right so there. Is, he went two. No, that's two, two Marines. Three Marines. I mean, this is good, though. He's got another Warhawk he needs to bring into the fight. I think he might have got he's it. Yeah. Not gonna deny him from getting to the hook, but I think he that was still good for him. Yeah. Because I mean he's fighting gunnerless warhogs with yeah. gunners, so. And Smiller Two probably built a few more marines than he needed just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Oh dang! Look, look at that. Fast, very fast fortress. He built a lot of Marines, though. He's got that barracks up still, so I wonder if we're going to see a reactor next and a deletion of the barracks for that vehicle depot. Or maybe he'll go advanced. I think he was thinking about going Marines, but hmm. Marco style was like, I'm building flamethrowers. Um, he's he's going to take that. He might. He's going to push up on that. Smart. That's yeah. very smart because he doesn't, he's not... I think he didn't even go for gunner. I think you're right. He did. He's just now getting it. And there's two no, more. No, there's no gunner. So this is gonna be. This is gonna be tough for Smooth Tube this to hold really, on to. This is really smart. This is really smart from Marco style. Yeah. He's getting that. He sure will. And it looks like. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's oh, got he's got Gunner, but he now he's got to take this thing back, and that's a lot of time without it's, the hook. It's not. It's bad. It's bad for. And why can't I do this when I try it? <laughs> <laughs> right. When I tried to do this, that just looks stupid. I wish you could download the codes. He looks good doing it. Yeah. He's the goat. But Smooth is... He's coming back. He's got a few Marines, but, you know, these are flashbangs. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, he, it doesn't matter. Even if he gets the hook, like, Marco saw that he did what he needed to do. Yep. He's yeah, got a lot sorry. of infantry. So he had to keep that depot up. Now, something... He could try that I've seen work before is RPG Marines. Yeah. 
Uh, I think Marco Stoss too good to not realize though if he does that. Yeah, he's and, got a lot of he, a lot of infantry. And he's not getting rid of his barracks, so right. Lost a lot of times. Uh, they usually... they do well against the uh, the gremlins, you know. They're just so yeah. the gremlins are so weak. There's been plenty of games where like I lose all my warhawks and I'll turtle up and I have to go straight into tanks and gremlins and, and they pull up with like a full pop of RPG marines and mm -hmm. gremlins or whatever they got. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a crazy counter. I I mean I think back to when you were playing against Smooth Tube on release. You remember that game with the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's a that's an example where I think of. You know the Marines can, they can really put some some work in. I I don't know though if he's doing it. Uh, Michael Stoll should be clicking on his base though, checking right now. Yeah, this is definitely caught we me don't. off guard plenty of times. Mm -hmm. We're kind of in the dark right now. There's the big ball of infantry. Those are those. I mean, those are they. Those are at least um. We got the first upgrade on them. Yeah, he's going marines. He's still building them. He don't have. He doesn't have RPG though. You see? Oh, he does now. I assume he's getting. It. He's just not finished yet. Oh wait. Yeah. Does he have RPG? Yeah, he just did it. He just hit that tank by his expo. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out for him, though. He needs a barracks. He needs to go tanks and flamethrowers right now. But he does have his barracks. Yeah. He's going to opt for some Spartan tanks. Because really, all, all Marco has to do is just got to pull these, these tanks out of the way, heal them up, and then just send them back in, and he can whittle down all these, all these Marines. He's pelicaning. He's gonna cry with the pelican. Watch this. Oh no way! Did he get it? I uh, he did. Yeah, he did. There, that is insane. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be kidding me. That is, I can't believe you could hit something like that. Yeah, that that's really good for Marco. Oh my god. Okay, so this game goes to Marco. That's I I can't believe that. That's that's crazy good play. I don't know if it if it would have like won if Smithy would have won if he got it, but that's definitely worth it though, because you know there, there there's at least six Marines in that Pelican plus a two hundred. Yeah. So that was eight hundred for six hundred. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So this is our this is gonna be our last map too, if mm -hmm. uh like you said it's four three right now so. It's it's up in the air. I don't know at this point. They're both playing really well. What I like to do here, I like to go reactor second and clear that base right away. Yeah, get the uh, get the lead with the uh, the hog numbers. But it looks like uh, is gonna try reactor third again. Or no, this is Marco style we're watching, right? No, we're uh, smooth, smooth tube. We were on uh, Marco the last one. Got gotcha. you. Well, yeah, in this in this matchup, you can't really get uh, carpet bombed or mac blast when you take that base, so you have to, you know, just defend it with the hogs. Well, it's gonna go reactor third, not second. I'm not a fan of reactor third. <laughs> Especially in Anders Mirror. But what do I know? I guess I guess I guess we'll find out. Local units. Supply pad complete. Local units. But I gotta say this is this is some some fine looking Halo Wars we're watching today. Yep. Do you want it to go to the last game? I hope so. That'd be that'd be iconic. I don't know of a better way to end a set between these two legends here. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna lose that Warhog. With yellow B set. Yep. So he, yeah, he just wanted to trade for it there, I guess. I don't think he wanted that. I think he just messed up there. Yeah, maybe. That's, you know, Marco has five Warhogs and he only has four. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I bet you money he's gonna, so, gonna protect that one. I'd say Marco's got slight lead here. Mm hmm. So Marco Stala, Marco Stala should be able to clear his base a lot sooner than some of the two, because yeah. that one Warhog and he is using one of his Warhogs to take the money. Yep, that's true. Marco is usually really good about the timing of this. Once that base is dead, maybe he'll uh, he'll try to take a take a hog from Smooth here, try to catch him off guard. He'll probably just look at the points and figure out that he cleared his base faster than this Mutub. Right. And uh, I don't know if he wants to push. Because pushing is always uh, a little risky because Green's going to have one more Warhog on defense than you. And that other guy. Yeah, that other one will be trailing behind. He might just get the base faster, figure out he's ahead, and try and get Grenadiers and push up when he gets Grenadier, maybe mm -hmm. through the hook in the middle. Smooth's we'll going for it. He's going for it, though. He's got to hold on now. Leaving the base, he's going to take the money from that... from that tentacle there. That slimy little... Now, I wonder if Marco tentacle. Style is ballsy enough to go to reactor first. Yeah. I'll, I I never do reactor first. I always try to go reactor second. There he is. He is pushing. He yep. killed his Warhawks. He's here. So... Um, I'm not sure about this, uh, but uh, I think um, Smooth is, I think Smooth has it because he's closer. He's closer to his reinforcements. Yeah, like some of the Warhawks are shooting base and all that. Yep, exactly. Whereas Smooth doesn't have to worry about that. That's the that's now, the defender's Marcus advantage. Now, have his base probably a little bit sooner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm not sure. He dropped a heel there. I think he should have just should have went for the middle right there. Taking that money there. Yeah. He used it to get Grenadier and pump Warhogs. Yeah. Who's checking the score? He's he's making sure. I think he's he's accounting for that right now. You know how many how many crates are in the middle? Is it like three to five hundred, something like that? I actually don't know, but I think it's uh I don't know, it's a lot. Yeah, it's <laughs> I mean, it's substantial. Like yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think it was like... A... Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. You got a little greedy for those crates. All right, well, good game. GG's, what a set. Really, really well done.